heading over to Highway 192 today. Going to be meeting up with a friend and checking out something I've I've never gone inside. And it's a good thing that this place is inside because the weather is being spotty today with the rain. It's starting to rain again right now. Straight ahead is one of the many wizards on Highway 192. And this is where we're going to be today. The Museum of Military History. I've actually never been inside this building, but that's going to change today. Hi everybody and welcome to the world of Mike. I'm finally going into the Museum of Military History. Make sure I'm reading that right. Here on Highway 192. Now, years ago, I'm talking eons ago, I came out and showed this tank right here, but I'm actually going to go inside. You guys are going to get the tag along. Also, tagging along with me. Love our life vlog! Hey. Link's going to be down below. They're going to be hanging out today. We're going to be doing this together. I didn't want to go in here by myself. Sometimes smaller museums to me can be a little awkward, so I'm bringing along some friends. You guys are going to get the tag along now. Let's take a closer look. So this tank is like all boarded up, man. Like it is, yeah, you can't get inside this anymore, but it's been sitting out here for as long as I can remember. And yeah, just like last time, piece of wood right there on the front. It's pretty awesome. All right, gonna head inside now. Museum of Military History. See what this place has to offer. I'm excited to show you guys they're closed Mondays, open Tuesdays to Sunday, 10 to 6. It's $12 to get in, seniors 11, veterans obviously, retired military, children 5 and under free. You come in active military in uniform, you get in free as well. All right, let's go inside. Now there is a gift shop here I'm selling all kinds of military items it's really cool look at that tooth powder this is really neat you can actually buy this this stuff this legitimate stuff <laughs> is right there and this is the front just paid my admission right here I don't know what's on the other side of this door but I feel like Willy Wonka right now little surprises around every corner come on in let's do this oh no this is okay everything's good yeah I think everyone here is on our side I think so oh man this place is a lot bigger than than I thought. I don't even know where to begin. Alright, let's just start on one side and make our way through the rest of this museum. We got some delicious menu items here. Beef stew. There is... I was going to touch that and then it says please do not touch display. So I was going to open this recipe book. Glad I caught myself. Veggie burger and barbecue sauce here so you can be vegetarian. A lot of the stuff the guy at the front counter was telling me is donated by locals and veterans and military-based folk. So this is kind of their way of giving back and, you know, even though they don't need to do anything, they've done enough for us. Look at this. I've never seen one of these in person. Men walk on moon from the moon landing right there. July 21st, 1969. There's another in here. This is from Boston and New York Times. Unreal. Some photos from NASA, which is right down the street. Look at this. Got some, some chairs here. We have a Presentation going on inside. Pain. 
There's so much in this display. Like these display cases just have so many things. I'm just kind of giving you guys a glorified overlook of this because I highly encourage you to come out here and check this out yourself. Don't want to give away too much. Look at that, there's food back there, the mules. This is awesome. I'm wondering what this is. This is a multi-purpose wheeled vehicle or a HMM WV. This year is a 1985. 1985? This plaque here says this is a ferret armored car. 1952 United Kingdom. And John was pointing out the G.I. Joes here. I had these. I had this case right here. I put my name on the front of that and I think I used to put my toiletries in there, my toothbrush and shampoo and things and that's what I would take when I would go to my grandparents' house or anything. That's That was what I would use. Isn't that funny? I'm sure my mom still has mine at the house. I don't remember what my guy looked like but I do remember getting it for Christmas one year. I believe this is from Vietnam War. Kinds of memorabilia here. North Vietnamese Army Captain female officer outfit here. It's a cool old RCA Victor recording right there, the record. Sergeant Barry Sadler. At first I thought that was Stallone, but it's not. All right, made it to like the middle section here. Military dogs here. Billy, that's Billy right there in the photo. Before World War II, dogs were not regularly part of the England's Royal Air Force at the time. Yeah, I think this is all the stuff from the Korean War. I mean, this stuff's just the real deal. You know, just, just out. It's really cool. You gotta have respect for this stuff, man. What is this? I think this is uh, a beer of some sort. It's water. It's natural water. All right. I drink canned water as well. This little Jeep here is awesome. Got some of the cutouts here, I believe, that went with it. Willie's Jeep. 1949 to 52. That's what they looked like. And look at the assembly line. Be it. The women, they're putting it together. It's really cool. This is neat. Willie's M38 Jeep is an iconic vehicle for nearly any World War II post war film. They were used in Transformers, James Bond Goldfinger, Pixar's Cars. John Wayne's Donovan's Wreath, and CBS's MASH. Isn't that cool? Yeah. This is like Sarge right here from Cars. Is that? Yeah, it is. Beetle Bailey down there. And Sergeant Snorkel. Pearl Harbor attacks over here. other screens throughout the museum too. Different footage and everything. After the Allies blunt Japanese aggression with victories at Midway and Guadalcanal, the time comes to revisit the Asia Pacific 
another display here and get those winters can get pretty harsh as you can see in the, the photographs. I love the, the motorcycle here. That is too cool. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, an old Indian. Old Indian motorcycle there. Look at the strap. You can spend a good chunk of time in here. I really want to ring this, but I don't know if I'm supposed to. <laughs> oh, I love this guy. You bet I'm going back to see. <laughs> did you ring the bell? I did. You, but you did. Lightly. Let's well, there's this. no sign that says don't ring it. There you go. It's coming off the wall, so yeah, maybe don't. we should leave it alone. <laughs> Are these the seats that would go in this thing? I don't feel like this is regulated. <laughs> these look like what my you know, grandparents would have in the front yard. But I think it is. These seats are retro, man. <laughs> no seat belts. This was like the prototype, I think. Okay. I, I researched it real quick. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> this old Jeep here, what year is this? This has got to be. Oh, they don't have black on this one like they had the other ones. I don't know. I'm gonna say 40s or before. It's very interesting though, these seats. In the back, oh, wait, 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 there's a plaque here. What does this say? Oh, it just says the hatch cover. That's what this is, a hatch cover. Hmm. I don't know what this is. It's a Jeep. The detail in some of these mini models, I swear to you, you could make a film, like a short film with these. Get one of those like crane shots coming in. Look at that. That's unbelievable. A lot of patience and tiny fingers went into making this because these would not do so well on that. I love old cash registers, and this one is in pretty good shape. Look at that. Donated. I'm into that. This is World War One Doughboy. Uniform. Now the term doughboy comes from when the infantry came into camp. Long marches made the men perspire, which, when mixed with dust and dirt, resembles something like dough. Hence the term doughboy. I've I've been in that situation myself many times. Sweat and dirt. Yep. So that's cool. I did not know that's where that term came from, but I've heard that term before. It's interesting to to know. Old gas mask right here. There's spats, sewing kit, a roll of bandages. Also some aviation here in this museum. I always think of my, my buddy Paul. Another gas mask here, and then there's the instructions still attached. Sucker for trains. This one is really neat. J.B. Turner. And this is interesting in the museum. There's also a library stocked full, completely full of books and all kinds of things pertaining to military history. I noticed here too, I believe these are original. Look at that, Kennedy dead. That is incredible. 
just to see this in person, not behind a glass, and to be accessible. Awesome. All right, we've made it to the Civil War. Everything goes backwards in this museum, by the way. Look at that. This is outstanding. I did not know all of this was here. Right off of Highway 192. Pass it all the time. And I've never stepped foot in here. And now I have. Oh wow, look at this. That's a, a grape shot from a canister shell. Smith & Wesson Model 1. Oh man, look at that. State of Alabama. $100. The Bank of Chattanooga. I'm not sure where that 5 is from. Confederate money here. State of Louisiana and State of Florida. And I believe the last stop is here. This is all pertaining to the Revolutionary War. Yeah, look at that. Sam Houston. All flags here. And then we have some props from the Patriot. Mel Gibson fell here. That's it right there in the middle. Heath Ledger was wearing that in that photo. How cool is that? Got some signed artifacts here from the Patriot. I can't believe that came out in 2000. That was 22 years ago. That was one of the first DVDs that my family bought back when DVDs were very expensive. We bought The Patriot and Star Wars Episode One and Independence Day. We had the surround sound going. Needless to say, the house was thumping. And I was blown away because we were watching everything in what was high definition at the time. Well, that museum was pretty interesting. Definitely check this out if you're a history buff or if you're looking for something off the cuff to do here on Highway 192 in Kissimmee that's not related to theme parks. But we came, we saw, we took care of business here today at the Museum of Military History off of Highway 192 in Kissimmee, Florida. I think our adventure for today has come to an end. But before we end it, I must say farewell to my friends and love our life vlog. Yeah. The link is down below. Check out their wonderful time here in the museum. We kind of did our own thing on the inside, so the videos will not be the same. So you guys have a two-parter. You can watch mine and then go watch theirs. Yeah. Tell them I sent you in the comment section. I'll see you guys real soon, I'm sure. See you guys. But it is time to say goodbye. If you enjoyed this episode, please click the thumbs up button the next time you're here at the Museum of Military History or on Highway 192. Tell them World of Micah sent you, and I will see you on the next episode. Until then, stay weird. Goodbye.